Yeah. Uh, so we are done. Uh, actually, I add some uh, agenda just uh, from me. Uh, first, I would like to discuss something about uh, Open Ruler Community Insight Report supported by Chaos. And uh, I just uh, prepared a documentation for that through the Google Doc. So that would be easy for us to, to make the co collaborations with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, that suggestion is coming from Daniel. Thank you so much. And uh, and the second thing is about, uh, yeah, if Matt didn't ask me to, to quickly post it, this blog quickly, I will postpone this uh, tomorrow uh, about the whole developer model interaction and and, mm -hmm. and related models. So I think the, we can we can focus on the first topic if we don't have any other things to discuss tonight uh, today. And uh, I will open up this documentation. And uh, and you can see that we I divided the whole doc document uh, into two parts. The first is the basic introduction about Open Ruler, and the second is the analysis. And I also have provide two sections. First, and it's a current uh, support by OSS Compass for 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 Open Ruler. Uh, of course, we we are using the chaos matrix model. And uh, and um, and also in com in open ruler community itself, it uh, they are using the activity this matrix model to manage their like um, uh, almost uh, one hundred uh, six, and so we can go through quickly. And the first is about the open ruler, uh, basic introduction. I introduce the community governance structures. Uh, we have different communities. Uh, the highest uh, organization within the community is the uh, Open Ruler Community co Committee, and um, and of course uh, for the technical areas we have our technical committee, and which also responsible for the uh, this more than almost one hundred six uh, special interesting group, and uh, all the information was uh, listed here. And uh, the, the final output of the community, I mean, the release of community, of course, it's a, it's a, uh, a oh, uh, 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 sorry, uh, uh, operation uh, distribution. Uh, it's just uh, uh, divided two uh, different uh, versions. First is uh, innovation versions, and the, the second is the long-term support versions which the difference between these two versions is that their support cycles and uh, uh, and also the maintenance period. You can see that for the innovation version, <clears throat> this release, they will go quickly, release quickly, uh, periodically, every five year, uh, every uh, half year. And uh, the long-term support version would release uh, every two years. And the maintenance periods uh, for the innovation version, uh, it's uh, kind of short, just half year. After these years, um, it's achieved the end of life for this version, specific version. And for this long-term support version, we provide four and more, uh, four, four more years, uh, and even that longer this than that. Remind, this reminds me a lot of um, Ubuntu's uh, long-term support cycles exactly. as well. Exactly, yeah. They're pretty much similar with each other, especially for this long-term mm -hmm. support. Uh, because uh, for this long-term support version, there will be a lot of users to use it, especially for the downstream uh, vendors, because they will provide some uh, some uh, commercial distributions. So they have to provide long enough support mm -hmm. for these users. And uh, yeah, this is the community release download page. And this is the uh, commercial release because um, I don't know if you know that uh, for the Open Ruler community, we don't release any commercial release. Um, we just uh, provide the community release, uh, like, like these two versions. And the, the different downstream uh, vendors, like SUSE, like, um, like some other uh, uh, vendors, they will build, um, provide their commercial release based on the Open Ruler uh, community okay. release version. 
And and yeah. I'm, is my perception or understanding open Euler is a Linux kernel distribution, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. I just I, I had that in my head. I wanted to make sure you had it right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if we step into this next section about the SIG operations, the things that uh, you can say that uh, there are now uh, 101 SIGs in the open ruler communities because they have more than 10,000 software um, software packages to, to manage. So, and in the different technical areas, areas and uh, joined with the different organizations. So they are requiring, uh, so they are using the SIG, the such organization stru structures, just like CNCF. Uh, Kubernetes, they're using special interesting group to manage the different teams. And Open Ruler of, also use the similar structure to manage the whole uh, community technical uh, teams. They call it the six. And um, yeah, already mentioned that for one or more, uh, each of single six would be responsible for one or more specific technical topics, uh, compromising one or more projects. So uh, here we list um, the uh, one pictures here. It's uh, kind of small, but you can see there are different uh, uh, technical areas. And in each of single technical areas, they have a bunch of different six groups. And, um, and, uh, and also, uh, we have some other governance and operation six. So we divided the six into two types. First is focused on the technical things. The second, uh, the second types of six are focused on the governance and the community operations. So as you can see that, uh, oops. Uh, yeah, some uh, marketing and uh, security committee, uh, compliance, uh, uh, technical committee, they're all also one type of six, but they belong to the governance part. Yeah, and- uh, Yeah, that, that makes all, sense. Yep. Actually, all the information are coming from this uh, page, I think. I open that. No, maybe you can do it later. And uh, yep. Yeah, and uh, each seek is um, compromised by the, um, a different roles, uh, normal contributors, committers, and maintainers. And um, we have the uh, detailed road descriptions. And uh, for the, each of single six, uh, they will have a list to show who are the uh, maintainers of the SIG, who are the uh, committers of the SIG, and who are the active contributors um, uh, in the SIG. So let's see, yeah, here you can see this is the, the whole SIG list. I think we have landscape, right? Yeah, this page, just uh, what I'm showing uh, on the documentations. This is for the technical innovations and the next day it's governance and the operation six. And uh, all in all, it's a 101 six totally. And as I mentioned, for the each of single six, uh, they govern uh, they they are responsible for the different repositories, and they are listed here, and um, uh, they have their maintainers here. Uh, actually, they are all the account name of the gate, and they they provide uh, their own email address. You can sub subscribe this email to receive the event about this specific thing because they will have some uh, periodically uh, meetings and or send, send some broadcast uh, informations for, for, for the subscribers. 
and uh, if we go on yep and uh, about about uh, about repositories <clears throat> Uh, in totally, they, uh, as I mentioned, they have uh, more than uh, ten thousand uh, repositories. Uh, actually, they are located in the two different uh, URLs. Uh, first is uh, this one, OpenRuler. The second one is SRC OpenRuler. Uh, they are manage the different repositories. Um, uh, for the OpenRuler, this type, this type of repositories, they are they are responsible for the uh, source code. Uh, Based projects, these projects are owned or incubated by the Open Ruler communities, and uh, and uh, for the SRC Open Ruler communities, uh, this this URLs, they are storing all the uh, software packages, and that's almost the tens, uh, more than ten thousand repositories. They are would build into the distributions in each of single release. Uh, that's the repositories. And um, in the community, they provide some basic statistics. They have this page, uh, I think. And we show it. I have, I have a, here. just a quick yep, question please. about Open Euler. That's a lot of repositories under the org. And I'm wondering if they have things like uh, desktops and applications also included under that same org. <clears throat> yep. Okay. All right. Exactly. That, that was my guess. Just checking. Okay. Yeah, that, that's true. And uh, if you check on that. This is the SRC repositories. I think I think if you open up this page by from your domain, you will see that uh, you will see the in English version, because right now it's showing the just Chinese in, in Chinese version, but um, but you can see this repositories here we have. I don't know where to configure to change it to the English version, but... Uh, I'm I'm trying to look. I just have to spell Giddy correctly, I think. Yeah, you can try that. I'm not sure if you can say the English or in Chinese. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. English here. Yeah, from you, Daniel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in English in my case. Yeah, yeah. that's great. I'm for Elizabeth as well. Okay. I got confused. I was going to giddy.org thinking of osscompass.org. But yeah, I see it in English now too. Okay, great. Yeah. <clears throat> and in in community their own, they provide some basic statistics um, from the single metrics or from the uh, metrics models. And I think this page we are showing before, but uh, we can quick go quickly uh, through this page. And th this is the overview of the Open Rula um, statistics for the whole communities. And this 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 numbers, uh, I mean, uh, user count, contributor count, and uh, organization members, they will be updated periodically. You you can see the uh, sorry. Uh, the last update it today. And if you go continue to see the details, uh, we can see the contributions by the different organizations. And this is a version statistics. If you turn off this button, if you see uh, uh, just statistics from the time range, for example, last month, last six months, Last year or all, and this is the top ten contributors or organization. Uh, sorry, organizations, and this is top ten, top twenty, and that's all. And this is the metric from 
pull request also from the issue from the com uh, comment comment um, and another another dashboard is about the contribution for the individuals so they have they share the same similar structures as um, as a, as organizations dashboard and this is the seek activity overview actually they are using the um, uh, uh, community activities uh, powered by chaos a metrics model uh, but uh, instead of to uh, looking uh, on the whole communities or project they are using this metrics model to manage each of single uh, six. So you can see um, the the activity score from zero to one, and um, and the, the color is become from from light to, to dark. You can see the difference. Darker this colors are technique. are more activity, right? Yeah, this is the technic technical six. This is the governance and the operation six. And you can view the contribution details for each of single six, I think. Yeah. Uh, if you check on the, this is uh, 18. And uh, you, can, you can switch to some other uh, uh, six. And you can check the maintainers, maintainer list and uh, the the project or repository is owned by the six and they say it's the okay the different colors stand upon stand for the different roles uh, as i mentioned before they have maintainers committers and the contributors uh -huh. yeah interesting is is um so this is i don't know if this is related to what you're trying to talk about, Yuhui. Is this the source of data that OSS Compass pulls in for the Open Euler then? Or is this just uh, an actually, Open Euler the, report? This is the Open Ruler report by themselves. Okay. That's cool. Okay. That makes sense. Just yeah. want to make sure I knew what I was looking at. Yeah. Uh, so after we go through the whole uh, uh, pool, Just they're like their own just basically their own dashboard like kubernetes has dev stats exactly at io yeah <clears throat> so uh as i mentioned and you can see that they have a, a, a very good infrastructure support team on that so they can clear guide clear data uh, to to manage the whole bunch of the different uh, six and uh, currently um, uh, this is the first uh, sections about the basic introduction about open ruler and uh, I add another section about analysis that's what I'm uh, I'm hoping to provide it by chaos and I provide two examples first is a uh, inside report from OSS compass mm -hmm. uh, this link I just opened up the here uh, yeah as you can see that uh, we have, uh, yeah, the repositories, we have like 10, more than 10,000 repositories. We divided, we divided these repositories into two types, uh, about governance repositories and about software artifact repositories. Yeah. And, uh, and then how to manage that? Uh, yeah, because Daniel just asked a question. Uh, you want to get the whole list about this uh, uh, open, open rulers uh, list. I, I, I attached the link here. And um, and we are, we are, we are using, uh, actually using uh, three dimensions. I, actually, we discussed it a little bit before in our communities, in, in our chaos communities and metrics model meetings, 
I want to use in uh, three dimensions, productivity, niche creation, and robustness uh, to set up this ecosystem evaluation uh, system. And um, supported currently supported by four metrics models. It's collaboration, development index, community service and support, organization activities, and this community activities. Actually, uh, they all care about the, I mean, the core part of the open source community. It's about co collaborations. So actually we are using four metrics models to, to see how, how it performs in terms of the collaborations. And um, yeah, so if we go back this dashboard again, and uh, we have this collaboration development index, community service and support activities and uh, organization activities. You can see uh, they are trained uh, since three years ago. And for the each of single metrics models, uh, they have different uh, metrics just because this, this is powered by our chaos. Chaos, so it's a, I, I believe you are already familiar, the whole structures. Uh, so yep. this is the final score for, for, for one matrix models and uh, for the bunch of the, uh, together with a bunch of these metrics as details. And uh, yeah. And except for the data provided by OSS Compass, and um, it also list the SIG activities powered by Chaos Matrix model. I think we just uh, looking at this before, uh, because I think it's quite interesting thing that um, this is the first uh, use case uh, I see uh, from Open Ruler or from a chaos uh, that uh, one community started using our chaos metrics model to manage their uh, communities, especially such a big uh, communities because they have 106 here. They use metrics model activity to match, to manage the whole, uh, uh, their, uh, their, their communities and six, yeah. And um, this is actually, we provided this two part as the references because we, uh, I'm hoping our chaos would provide another more comprehensive uh, report and analysis inside the report for the uh, open rulers. Yeah. So any questions? Yes. Yes, Daniel has questions. Thank you Yuki, for all of these documents. It, it's a lot of work. So thank you. Thank you for sharing. Um, yeah, it's great. Yeah. So um, when we were discussing in Bilbao about having uh, this report, then um, one of the things that I, I would say are really would be really, really useful. So all the information we have here, we can say, or we can argue that is a a certain adoption of the chaos way of working or chaos technology or chaos uh, theoretical approach into having a better understanding of the open Euler community. So then open Euler community can make a better informed decisions. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is what is happening because then you, you have many things there. So in terms of data, I would say that, that this report is absolutely covered. So yes, this is this is initial data. We are not going into really detailed things, you know, like whatever, you know, like code review fairness, for instance. But the thing is that data is there and it's providing high level KPIs to understand where, where the community is going on. Mm -hmm. So from uh, now, what, what I'm missing perhaps here, and I would say is, would be kind of the uh, uh, key thing to have. So then we can we can bring other adopters to chaos or open Euler basically both sides would be um first uh why so why from the open Euler perspective why chaos so then is it's not that much about what chaos can produce 
but how chaos is helping open Euler to grow and mm -hmm. to have a better understanding. So mm -hmm. first of all is uh, why why open Euler did this strategic decision of basing data on existing good practices from chaos. So then if mm -hmm. we are able to have an answer for this, then this would be kind of the ideal use case because we can go to from the chaos perspective now and we're in the hat of chaos. We can go to any other community or foundation or so and say, okay, this is a business open source example of how a large foundation or large project, 10,000 repositories, decided to start adopting chaos good practices in their day-to-day -day business operations. So that more strategic or high-level discussion is perhaps what I would try to address here. Because if we have the rationale for that, we have a certain metrics in action that are the ones that you are explaining here, then uh, uh, the discussion on Beijing or the discussion with other communities or so in how they can adopt chaos, there is a clear journey and path that they can basically replicate in the same way that we are using, that we are doing today with Open Euler. So these are my thoughts. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, please go. Sure. Uh, I was uh, just going to say, I mean, yeah, it sounds like it would be a very useful case study to underscore Daniel's point. And I think there's, I don't know if this is a part of the story we want to tell or not, but I've noticed the Linux kernel continues to use the same statistics they've used from the start. For the most part, they've never adopted anything like this. And so I think as a kernel distro finding utility in chaos, I think is an interesting story, whether or not we want to tell it because we don't want to imply anything bad about the Linux kernel. That That's another matter. But but I, I do think that that's part of the story, even if we don't tell it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, Yehui, your, your thoughts here? Sorry. No, I think... Uh... Uh, I, I actually I don't quite catch up with uh, with Shane's opinion that uh, you you think we 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 would uh, exclude exclude the kernels. Uh, no, inside? no, oh, okay. no, no. I would I would definitely include it. I I'm just pointing out that that you know chaos has. I think I think Open Euler is finding utility with the chaos metrics, in addition to the metrics that they produce themselves already, mm -hmm. and other. Linux distributions in the kernel specifically ha hasn't done that yet. So I think it it sort of is a good story for chaos to show that there's a Linux distro that finds these things useful. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, That's a good ca use case. That, okay. Yeah. But I think Daniel so, was talking more broadly. I Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Promote it to other distribution system. Yeah, and even if we don't promote it, I think it's a positive story about some of the core technologies in open source finding utility in chaos metrics. Yeah, I think that that, that could it be treated as one one purpose for producing a uh, chaos inside report for for Opera I mean to to create a good example or use case or uh, to promote chaos that uh, uh, we have some big communities have, have selected chaos metrics and metrics models in the, in the practice and that thing I, I agree with with you guys and um, I think as we discussed in Bearball, we also mentioned that <clears throat> or care or open ruler when um uh one mentioned or uh, foc focus on that chaos, what what chaos metrics or metrics model uh, can tell uh, to the uh, to the open ruler community. I mean uh, is there any good things have achieved by Open Ruler, or is there bad things need to improve uh, based on the observation from the chaos 
inside the report. So what we can do for that part? Um, okay, for the, if, if I were an external observer to this discussion, mm -hmm. um, then what I will, what I will try to ask Sean, that you are here is what is the value for chaos on having this business case? And then on the other side, Yehui is what is the value for Open Euler to have this business case? So basically, why Open Euler choose chaos? Are there metrics uh, sure. way of thinking? And the other way around, chaos, mm -hmm. what is the benefit to the chaos community on having a Linux distribution? So mm -hmm. I have I have my, my own idea, but this is this is what I would like to basically um, to highlight in the, in the business case. So Open Euler is using chaos for these reasons. And then it happens that we are not using perhaps chaos technology for part of our dashboard because we already have data. That's okay. But they are uh, framing or developing that technology based on chaos data. I mean, mm -hmm. chaos metrics discussions or even metrics models. And then for, for more advanced analytics, we have OSS compounds. That is, again, not chaos technology or branded under the umbrella of chaos but partially using chaos technology and then use chaos knowledge. Perfect. So that's a really good case for chaos that is bringing you like the whole uh, complete overview of uh, theoretical approach and technology to make sense. Yeah. Right? And then basically we are learning, we are building this from the open Euler from the, that's the benefits for, for chaos, right? The other way around from the open Euler perspective and everything, this would be, like, okay, this is the first Linux distribution uh, to be part of this business case. And maybe others are aware of the Linux kernel analytics and others, but because operating systems are uh, complex, basically, we are discussing about complex systems. Um, this is a great thing to do, to bring other experts to make sense of all of this data and what, what health means for Linux distribution from the open Euler perspective. So it's like a win-win situation where we are trying to build the, the business case and create brand awareness, basically. Yeah. So that's, I... that's, and, and then we have, sorry, Sean, and then we have a the, the document that you already created as this is the data that we have that are related to chaos. These are the insights, and this is how we are using this data to make decisions, because this is the other missing point I think we have. We have the yeah. data, we have all of this, but why this matter to open Euler? To the open to the open Euler, I mean community, uh, ecosystem as, 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 as a whole, like uh, members, companies, uh, the hierarchical, uh, the hierarchy of people there and developers, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. So as as a specific action items that I would do personally in the document would be um, why chaos? Okay, so we choose chaos because of uh, this, 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 da, 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 And then we open Euler would be the first Linux distribution and then, you know, these things. Um, and then we have all of this data already existing and living in the open Euler community. And then based on this data, these are the strategic decisions or internal discussions or whatever you can disclose from the community perspective that makes sense. Like maybe I know the internal reporting that you are doing to your to your donors, uh, starting from Huawei and the rest of the companies, right? So what is what matter to them? Um, and then this is giving you like the whole picture, right? Like the business case, the data, and um, uh, insights that you can produce with the data that is useful for in your specific case. If that makes sense. Oh, yeah, who is left? Well, I just added a, I mean, a, um, a suggestion in the doc, uh, just where to put that, because I think you're right. right. Right below analysis, there should be just, why, why chaos? There should just be a motivation 
for using chaos, I think, mm -hmm. as you suggested. And I, I think there's a natural place in that dock where it could go. Yeah, maybe I can add some more thoughts here. So, it's, so from the purely chaos perspective, how we would like to to show the business case or the community case or the project mm -hmm. case. Because we the the mission of the project is to have open source tools and knowledge to analyze open source projects. So then we build nice. more, more maintainable maintain, maintainable and sustainable communities, right? Um, yeah, I mean when I I think I'm not sure if is your like from a is your question like a comms one? Because I think the blog post podcast um try to get some get some more talks about it out there those seem to be our ways of doing co communication is that what you're getting at yeah this this is this this would be another document this would be another tool could be a resource yeah i see what you're saying like the actual structure of the report and the way it's sort of formulated is of value of it separately and, and could be an asset for the chaos community. Yep. Okay. I'm kind of, I, I yeah, I'm see kind that. of thinking of having an executive summary of two pages. Why, when, how, these are the results done. So then we can have others and then, oh, and this is an open source community. So everyone that understands how an open source community works, they will see, oh, so then there's a page, I will learn how to do things, you know, whatever it is. but. Yeah, that that's that's my these are my thoughts right now. I I I think the the one experience we have, or we've got a couple experiences, but maybe three years ago we tried to do those standard reports mm -hmm. for projects, and they just ended up kind of not being the most valuable. I think what Yahoo's presented is an improvement on that idea. So perhaps, because I do, I do like this as a sort of a structured asset that people could develop using chaos metrics. And it would be, I think, up to the engagement, like somebody would have to do the work, right? So it could be a, a, another place for contributors to contribute to chaos or, um, yeah, I mean, is that kind of, I think it would, I think there'd have to be like a contributor to actually put the report together. Like I don't, th I don't think it's fully automated unless I'm missing and, something. Yeah, exactly. And and the other point is that if, um, to be frank with you, I, I don't know, I, I don't know in your case specifically, but for the, if Open Euler is expecting to have, um, uh, data not produced by OSS Compass or the data stack that they already have by mid December, and have like a report at the end. I don't know if we have the time slash resources slash technology ready yeah. to do, and that's a problem. Yeah, I don't I don't know like for I don't know what I, I so the I think you're asking about the granularity of the report beyond the high level overview. Yeah. To, right. So I think I mean I, I, we need you hooey for that because I don't know how completely uh, OSS Compass is scaled out to provide that information. Exactly. So we are relying on OSS yeah. Compass for this. Because yeah. either yeah. Uh, yeah. with your team or me with my team. We... Right. We don't. We don't neither. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. You're running a business and I'm not. I'm running a, you know, even a though chaos machine. Like a month and a half. It's like, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Hello. Hey, Yahui. I lost Welcome. my connection. Welcome yeah. back. How are you? This happens in <laughs> Zoom world. We we were discussing the what you have in mind for more detailed reports around Open Euler for December, um, and uh, what what you might or might not need from us to do that because Daniel and I obviously don't have. I don't know how much time we have to help contribute to this report. Uh, actually, I'm thinking the, the truth is that because uh, as we all agree that uh, or say that 
Open Ruler as an operating system community is a very complex uh, community. It's very big. So if we start from right now to start collecting any trace data from from the GitHub or Getty, it's very complicated for us to to make it done uh, in a short time. So how about like this? Um, we provide uh, the data we already have from Kels, from Compass. And those data, actually, because it's based on the Green Lab, and uh, we, we, we are using the metrics provided by Kels and the metrics model provided by Kels. And we list all the data we have here. And um, we set up our structures for, for OpenRula. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of metrics model uh, should uh, use should be used to these communities, and that's the the gap between the data and the metrics model we 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 stress we suggest to use. And if the gap is not that big, and we can meet that, and finally we can provide a something com comprehensive uh, report for the communities. And uh, that uh, the point, I mean, the second point uh, mentioned by Daniel that <clears throat> what kind of value uh, can be provided by chaos to open Rula. And uh, for the first point is that uh, where, why open Rula using chaos or in another word, what kind of value that open ruler using chaos matrix model to uh, to chaos. So in that part, in that part, actually, if you uh, Daniel, I, I know Shen and and Daniel, you guys will travel to Beijing to attend this summit. Once you give us this open ruler inside report in that submit, or I mean open ruler submit. And at least all the people, all the organizations in China would know, okay, Open Ruler already select chaos to help them to produce the metrics, uh, to produce this uh, insight report. They will attract a lot of different communities from China to consider to using our chaos metrics, the metrics model. So there's a is there a there's a, is there a space so the report is I I think you said this earlier Yahui, the report is kind of an executive summary and when I want to dig into any sub component or group of repositories in Open Euler mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to use o OSS Compass for would that be yeah. right so yeah. like the the report is an executive level summary that requires some, you know, in effort per report. But then if people want to dig into the granular details, they would go to OSS Compass. Yeah, yeah. That that would be great. Is that what you had in mind, Daniel? Or were you thinking that there would be a or, detailed report on all these 10,000 repos? I have questions. Uh, so yeah. uh, Yahui uh, basically is... Um, so our audience will be mainly open Euler, right? Uh, not only open Euler, but all the people from China related to the operating system okay. from downstream or upstream. It's like more than like 100 or 10, so the, uh, 100 or 200 different organizations would okay. attend this summit. Okay. So there people... would be... Okay, sorry, finish. Uh, like hundreds, like uh, almost a thousand people would attend this meeting because it would last uh, last two days, okay, at for, least. For this specific talk, um, how much time we will have? How many people will have in front of us? Uh, because it would be a keynote, so all the people would attend this speech. Okay, so you mentioned like one thousand. How many? How much time we have for the keynote? Keynote usually like a, uh, like a, uh, thirty minutes at most. I think, uh, okay. because I don't think we would have 
like one hour, no. I think speech is uh, quite expensive for every of area. Course. So we can think something between 15 minutes and 30 minutes, 1,000 people in front of us. Good. Um, and then mainly, which is good, operating system people. So not, not only open owner people, but operating system from China, from the industry. Mm -hmm. So, yes. um, uh, Sean, one of the things, my Sean and Yehui, one of my suggestions would be uh, open owner. So we, we can structure this in slides specifically. But beyond this, um, we we should have like one or two key aspects that we need to have the audience really clear when the talk is finished. Chaos adoption, uh, theoretical approach, tools, and, and have that discussion in the in the chaos uh, uh, ecosystem. Let's say mm -hmm. would be probably kind of the message to have the the the, the, the pitch for for everyone there, and mm -hmm. and why why this is. Because basically, Open Euler has chosen chaos as the place to to go for it. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, what is chaos? Da, 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 da. We have whatever we want to discuss, uh, metrics, uh, you know, meetings, uh, you know, open community, welcoming community, technology, well, all of this. Mm -hmm. um, and then at some point, we decide and say, okay. Um, <laughs> We have data coming from uh, based on chaos uh, theoretical approach provided by OSS Compass, already existing in the Open Euler community. But then we want to bring a more in deep, uh, bless you, a more in deep example of um, um, uh, one specific project. And then we can go to the Linux kernel. So I would uh, say, excuse me, June, yeah. could, would you mind mute your phone? Would you mind muting? Uh, yeah, thank you so much. You. Yeah. So then I was thinking if it makes sense to go into the most complex of the systems, which is the Linux kernel, where mm -hmm. uh, uh, OSS Compass has data, or maybe you have already data in the Linux kernel. On, uh, yeah, like on 10 different copies of it that are on various repos on GitHub. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, but it, it's about choosing one of them. And we, and we yeah. have that as well. So then we can go with an example on on what a complex system means and going into into one, two, three metrics, maybe one metric of what this means, the complexity of all of this, specifically choosing the Linux kernel, which is uh, really everyone will know basically from that perspective. We can say and and I was I was running now some analysis for instance on the overlap between some of the companies, for instance, I don't know, Huawei and Intel, yes, choosing some random examples. But it's about uh, going beyond the, the user analysis and say, this is a complex system. Open Euler is a massive complex system, but let's focus on one of the projects that is very well known by everyone here, which is mm -hmm. the Linux kernel. Bring some numbers on the Linux kernel specifically, that is mm -hmm. at the same time quite a specific, and say, mm -hmm. and all of this discussion is happening in chaos. So then we go for two, three, four takeaways for everyone in the audience. Again, it's many mm -hmm. people, a lot of industrial players. So it's something that they uh, they should be aware of. And then we either probably feel comfortable between fifteen and thirty minutes because it's more. It's, it should be a really high level at the end. I mean. Mm -hmm. keynote, so it's something mm -hmm. that people yeah, can the, learn easily. People won't digest more than high level. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I like the idea of the Linux kernel as an example because everybody knows what it is. An open oiler could be the Linux kernel. Um or we could use uh, different distros to mm -hmm. is are you suggesting different distros just to provide sort of contrast, Daniel? No, I was I mm -hmm. was just thinking on okay. um, Linux kernel is one of the Mm -hmm. okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like okay, the, everybody camera. knows it. It's, it's here. So it's one of the key pieces in the architecture. Yes, I see. Order, yes. And probably a really important yeah. one. The yeah. Thing is, uh, Linux kernel is at the basis of all of this. So mm -hmm. it, there is yeah. a really high dependency on basically the whole open Euler ecosystem on the Linux. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yes. I follow. Oh, you have, oh that, that's really cool. Thing. I yeah, I see your imitation. What, what do you see? 
like a thumb up. Oh yeah. Yeah, thumb up. Oh, it it so puts it in like the. Here. Oh so, wow, yeah. wow! I never. That's that's new. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, I only have this boring I'm gonna, emoji I'm gonna, here. I'm going to enter a private chat later and check other hand signals to see if they're interpreted. <laughs> <laughs> so then, yep. So, so this is, these are my thoughts on perhaps how we can move forward with the, with the presentation. Of course, we'll need my understanding and Yahoo, we'll need your help a lot on mm -hmm. providing. Uh, so there will be a, a cultural barrier and language barrier. So uh, probably we need to add more text usual in the slides be mm -hmm. specific so people have the time enough time to read things and be aligned with uh, with whatever sure. we are discussing so basically our speed should be perhaps uh, slower than usual mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. about making clear one message um, state mm -hmm. that open Euler and, and chaos are working together we are trying to define what a complex system is uh, mm -hmm bring some examples with existing data to an Euler community, focus perhaps into something really meaningful from the Linux kernel, which is a key piece in the whole ecosystem, and go with two, three, four takeaways with the audience. And thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. yeah, I think that sounds like a good uh, I, I, I think that, focus on. Daniel, Daniel you, you, would you mind to write the whole thing? your ideas or thinkings discussed today into the documentations. We have recorded the session, which is good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. See, and, uh, that was a good choice. <laughs> yeah, I do want to point out we're, we're uh, about six minutes over time. I'm t I have time after this to keep talking. I just wanted to, You're right, sorry. if others have other, if anyone has other meetings, I don't want to keep I, you. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Yeah, I have time too, so. Yeah, because um, um, yeah. I, I think, Daniel, that you just kind of laid out a sort of a core focus. So the, it, it's like the um, the headings we can start to build content around, you know, mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. Mm, that, that makes sense. Um, OK, yeah. Um, the, the, the other thing I may need, uh, but I don't know if you have uh, information. Uh, oops, sorry. Um, information back uh, who is uh, at least me probably would be good to have a invitation letter or or something that is telling hey you're in Beijing we are you know this person is coming to Beijing and I can go to the embassy and say hey have this because I have to ask for the visa okay okay uh, I can check with that uh, with the open ruler community to to quickly hand hand the process um, you 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 people's uh, visas application, and uh, I think they need to send out the invitation letters first. That's the quite yeah, important yeah, yeah, thing. I think before yeah. I go to the embassy, I need like the uh, have my uh, my journey wherever I go. Uh, I need to have the hotel, the flight, um, the invitation letter. I guess. That's yeah, like yeah, that's true. Thing. Um, and and then I at least in my case, I don't know in the US, I need like a. To have all of this, like in at least yeah, before the the, the departing date. No, uh, I know that I would have done that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think I do need a letter too for a visa, as it turns out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> needs that visa, with an invitation item. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so cool. Okay, so then I it's think on my side, I... to write down the. I can start if you want, like an empty um. Slide deck, so we can sort. Uh, sorry, what? I will I will start an empty slide deck, uh, so we can share. Um, just to start, uh, adding my thoughts on on the presentation. Um, okay. Schedule. Okay. Uh, uh, you mean you add it on the slide or instead of the Google Doc, right? I think yes, that's what I was thinking on starting directly the slides. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, cool. that's okay, or do you prefer a Google Doc? I'm okay either way. Mm, because uh, because both Google Doc or Google Slack, they they are convenient for us to 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 do the collaboration work. No, I'm I'm fine with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, we could just lay out maybe like have a page represent a slide or something in the way we organize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool, great. Um, I will I will add my suggestions to the business case document as well, so we can we can have something to start discussion. Sorry, I couldn't add them before. But uh... yeah, no, I mean I think this is been very useful and concrete with regards to December. So, and also I think the report's very promising and we frame, I think we had a good discussion framing it. So mm -hmm. good meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you all. All right. Sure. Thank you, Yahui. Uh, thanks, Iga, Thank CJ, and Elizabeth. Yeah, it's a you. Leave. <laughs> Sorry for that. Bye. Uh, oh, oh, if I do two thumbs, look what happens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wild. That Zoom is getting powerful. Is there something tab for me? Okay. <laughs> no. Yeah. All right. Bye, everybody. Okay. Take Bye. Care. Bye. Thank you.